Hello, this is A.D. Ramsey of Davina Handcraft Soap, and today we're going to be making some brown sugar body scrubs. We're going to start by using a very little bit of bleach, not even a cap full, just a couple of drops. and some lukewarm water. You don't want it to be too hot or else it will change the chemical reaction to the bleach. We're using this to clean our vessels. These containers, they're super cute, but this is the last of my plastic containers. I have um, some more larger eight ounce ones to go through. I have some low profile containers as well. These pro these I use for when I'm shipping my sugar scrubs. The other containers that I have, they're the deli cups. So this is the cup that I use to put my sugar and uh, salt scrubs in when I'm here selling them at the market. But when I mail them, I use the plastic ones because I think they just hold up better than the cardboard. So we're just gonna give these a quick little rinse and I will take them out, dry them on a clean towel that I only use for my soap making adventures, extravaganzas, if you will. And I want them to be completely dry then we'll move on to the next step okay so first we're going to start off weighing out some ingredients and I have sprayed everything down with a little bit of rubbing alcohol so we're going to start with some distilled water A little bit of Castile soap. This is my own Castile soap and it's cloudy because I keep it in the refrigerator. Now I'm going to pop this in the microwave and while we're waiting on that we're gonna add a little bit of shea butter. I ordered some shea butter from Warehouse Supply Plus and it came in a big bag like this as it was the five pound. Well, when I opened it, it smelled like petrol. I couldn't believe it. Okay, now that this is over 170, I'll take a little piece of plastic and cover it up so it can retain that heat for at least seven minutes. Set that to the side. And now that I have this weighed out, I will put this in the microwave. So next, we're going to add the emulsifying wax and a little bit of steric acid we're gonna give that a pop in the microwave now that that's melted down I'd like to add my olive oil last in the oils because this doesn't need to heat up. Yikes. Now that I have all of my oils together, let's give it a little swoosh. Easy peasy. First, we're gonna add the brown sugar. Now we're going to add the white sugar. Now, before I add the wet water ingredients, I'm gonna take the temp again. 
So it's at 140. That's good. We are going to add a preservative to this. And I don't want to be over 170. So right here, I'm going to give it a little stir. Just to mix up the oil and the sugars. And it smells delicious just as is. Then we're gonna add the liquid. Cause when you stir it in with the liquid still a little warm, it melts the sugar and it comes out a nice consistency. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Need just a little bit of preservative for this small batch. You have to pour it pretty quick so that it'll register since it's such a small amount. And we're going to get our essential oils. We're going to put some thyme. I have some white thyme here, but of course you can use whatever you have. And you have to be very careful with essential oils because they're stronger than fragrance oils. So you have to know just the right amount. This is my favorite rosemary. <clears throat> so good. Of course, I love a citrus moment. So we'll put a little grapefruit. And if you notice, I'm not putting a lot of any of it you don't want it to irritate the skin and last but certainly not least a little bit of patchouli and this is a love or hate oil and I gave these oils all a good little shake before I started I personally love it I love the earthiness of it I love the combination of patchouli and rosemary I love rosemary and anything really that's my fave. My least favorite essential oil definitely is uh, lemongrass. My very least. Then uh, nice runner up is probably lavender. But lavender mixed with other oils, I like it. But by itself, putrid. And that's it. And this has a great smell to it. It's a wonderful emulsified scrub. And just something different. Then we will add it in. I don't know why I have it on a scale. Because <laughs> I usually just eyeball it. And put it to wherever I think it looks nice. So here's the finished product. They are still warm and you never want to put the lid on. Even though it does have a preservative in here. Do not put the lid on until it's nice and cool. I'll let these set for anywhere between 8 to 12 hours. I make them in the morning and before I go to bed I'll put the lid on there because I'd rather be safe than sorry. It is pretty dense and I want to make sure that it's completely cooled all the way down. It might be cool to the touch but it might not be cool on the inside. So thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing. I have a host of other videos. Thank you. Goodbye.